Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share an op shop haul. So excited! I made another trip down to Proserpine, Early Beach area and managed to find a few different things. Um, the most exciting of which I'm just going to get straight to because I found my first <laughs> wedding dress to cut up for junk journals. So <laughs> I've been on the lookout for wedding dresses ever since um, yeah, I discovered that you could use wedding dresses to uh, decorate journals with. You know, you've got all of this. Uh, well, this skirt is, um, I don't know what kind of fabric that is actually. I'm very terrible at my um, names. Like there's tulle and there's chiffon, chiffon, I don't know how you say it even. And there's lace and there's other stuff and organza and <laughs> whatever that is. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. But there's tons of that which will make great pockets and things. And then it's also got this great um, underskirt as well, which is satin material. I don't actually know if it is satin. But it is that very shiny, smooth fabric too. So that's going to be great as well to use. So two different types of fabric. But what I really got it for was... Oh, sorry. Was this bodice. Is that what it's called? Seriously, I'm not into fashion at all. Um, but yeah, I love a bit of bling. And this... Is it called applique? <laughs> I did check if it could come off easily, and it can. Or well, Keanu wants to play with the dress. <laughs> um, and it can. Some of it is already coming off a little bit. And I will just have to go through all of this one night in front of the TV. <laughs> and, um, yeah, pick all this off. And then I feel like I want to use it to decorate. I'll show you. These are some of my journal covers that I made. I feel like I want to use it to decorate these plainer ones with this really luxurious satiny material here, nice and shiny, and somehow add some of that to it. I don't know if it will look any good, <laughs> but just a bit of something somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, it's all new to me, but I will have fun playing. And there is quite a lot of it, so I'll be able to allow myself to make mistakes, I suppose, with it and just see how it goes. But yeah, I have fun cutting that up. And, oh, let's show the back. So these are fake buttons, <laughs> just for decoration, because it's actually a zip all the way down the back. But yeah, there's some buttons there that I could use in my journals. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I was I was always on the lookout for wedding dresses. They've all been much too expensive, a hundred dollars plus a lot of them, even fifty or whatever. So I I look for when they're on sale, and this one was on sale, on top of being reduced and reduced and reduced. So I was like, oh, I don't know. It's still pretty expensive, but um, <laughs> for an op shop, but um. I thought, wow, I haven't seen anything remotely close. Hey, Keanu, come to say hello. You come to say hello. How are you? What a good boy you are. You, you say hi to everyone? <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, okay, he wants to hug you. <laughs> good boy. All right. Okay. Oh, you like that. Just as long as you don't tear it up. That's my job, not yours. <laughs> You can stay there. So yeah, got it on sale and the cheapest I've found anywhere by a long way. So I thought I'd just go ahead and get it. <laughs> and it's kind of like a, a, if I have a bucket list for junk journals, I can tick off this item from my list, getting a wedding dress. <laughs> hey honey, are you going to let me film? Okay, you're going to do your bunny kicks. Okay, thank you, thank you. Alright. <laughs> So, these ones next are. Oh no. Alright, he's gonna try to eat my doilies. Okay, hang on. Let's get this out of the way, actually. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> I found some lovely doilies. 
Let's put this in the centre, shall we? That dress is really heavy and it takes up so much space, my goodness. Uh, anyway, so this one is gorgeous. Look at this. It's got this very delicate embroidery of a lady with a parasol, her skirt, and her bonnet. <laughs> Oh, Keanu is purring and kneading his blanket. <laughs> so cute. Uh, this one here, which I like because it's got the blue flower. And I like these ones because there's writing space here. Like when you scan it and print it and stick it in a journal, there's writing space. I love it. Then we've got this one here, which is actually, I think, hand drawn onto it, but really sweet. And again, writing space next to it. I love this size, these shapes, these interesting shapes, because I don't have many of these types. So this one was really cool. Again, I <laughs> like the blue flowers, but it's got nice colours in this one. And we also have this one, which is really pretty with the, I don't know, the scalloped edges around the sides. So pretty good shape again so this one you could journal or in the middle so I was happy with those finds getting some I'm so getting into doilies and linens at the moment I have just been using them a lot in my personal journey journaling at the moment it's my new favorite thing <laughs> um, so yeah I won't make put this in my Etsy yet because I mean there's only what five of them so my packs are of 17 random number I've got three packs of 17 in my Etsy from my previous haul um, if anyone is interested I will link that below okay so uh, let's see what else I got <laughs> this is a condolence book and I just got it because it has some nice paper. I'm always on the lookout for papers. I think papers are my favourite thing to put in journals. I mean, as in, like, things to find. I just, it sounds boring, but just paper. <laughs> so I can coffee dye this up or leave it for my non-coffee dyed journals. But there's a lot of pages, which is what I was looking for. And I don't have any with this type of line. They're all blank. And what the other thing that sold me is it has the gold on the edges. Not that you'll be able to see it on single pages really, but just a bit fancy. And I thought it was a good size as well. You know, look at that. So I don't think I'll need to cut it too much. I don't know. It's just a different line type, different size. So I thought I'd just get it. <laughs> Always looking out for papers. And same with this. This is why I got this one. So this is really cool. Usually I get this type of paper in actual books, exercise books, and sometimes I just go on these little bits of um, <laughs> sprees and I just stock up on, you know, five different types of books, grid, graph, uh, lined, uh, whatever, this type, and that's how I'll do it, and then I coffee dye it all. Uh, they are expensive, this type, and some of them, yeah, depending on what lines and stuff, they can be really expensive. So this one, I'm really glad to have found that in an op shop. And then loose leaf, I didn't know you could get these loose leaf. That's great. I love ledger papers. <laughs> so my favourite types of papers to put into journals are the ledger papers, but vintage. So I will make that vintage myself with the coffee dyeing. Uh, let's get on to the books. So I got a few books. This one um, has it comes in a case, but I thought I could reuse this book cover, maybe cover this image up with my own image and leave it because it just says love on the spine. And I thought, what a great, <laughs> what a great cover as is. Like I might even just leave that image; it's pretty. And then I can use every single page in other journals. So, like, look at that. Just really pretty images. And it's poetry and excerpts or um, passages. Look, 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 look at that. So pretty. Excerpts, is that how you say it? From books. Just love passages. Passages about love. So I thought that was pretty cool. I can use this in my projects. Like that one. That one has a dog. And I can just picture myself reading besides that bank beside that bank and I, I um, 
I think that will have to go into my personal journal. <laughs> so that's that. This one I got because I kind of just am collecting cat images for my cat journal that I want to make. And I'm thinking I may as well, if I can, make a series of cat journals. Um, because, yeah, if I'm going to get whole books to get the cat images, yeah, I, I can make a lot more than, <laughs> than um, one cat journal. But I'm, what I'm really looking for, and unfortunately this book only really had one picture of a black cat that I can use. So I'm looking for black cat pictures to go with Keanu. So I want to document his life in a journal. And where is that one picture? <laughs> Oh dear. Um, and I was just fascinated too to read up a bit about cats. And not to say, like, I will include other images in the journal besides black cats. I'll choose the cutest ones. <laughs> oh, like, like, that's so cute. That's actually probably what he is. Um, he had three sisters and they were grey tabbies. He was the only male and he was the only black one. See, that one's kind of cool, but he doesn't look anything like Keanu. Keanu's very um, fine and um, uh, light and skinny. <laughs> so this one, that one, if I that actually looks like Keanu. That looks like him. So I'm going to... It's not the greatest picture either, because it's like not even looking at the camera. <laughs> Great big tongue. That's cute. And so I'll cut that out and put that in the journal, because it actually looks like him. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm on the lookout for cat books now from the op shop. And I really want to look for um, children's book illustrations of cats too. So I don't just want real photos. I'm looking for um, cute illustrations. So that's what I'm on the hunt for when I go to op shops. And this one, I'm also always on the hunt for vintage books. And just anything with cutesy <laughs> um, illustrations, which I'm trying to get more into, inspired by Johanna Clough and Amity Bloom. Again, I'm not the most visual journaler, but I want to be, I think. And a way to do that is to find cutesy images. But again, I probably wouldn't use any of these in my journals, to be honest. Like, it isn't me. Um, but I like... There's a lot of things that I like, but won't necessarily put in my own journal. But because I still like it, I'll make put them in other journals, if that makes sense. So there's some really lovely images in here, especially the ones of the gowns. And I just love crowns and jewellery and like the gown here. Um, and that old and medieval kind of style, like that gown. Like I really love that image. I absolutely do love it. But I just can't really see myself putting that in my own journal. <laughs> um, there's some others. Like, I love all the way they had their hair back then, with the beading and the jewels in their hair. Like, those hairstyles. Oh, I love it. So these images here too, I really love them. But again, I wouldn't put them in my own journal. <laughs> anyway, so I will just pull this whole book apart. And what I thought I'd do is, yeah, you know, if you watch my channel, I, one of the ways I justify my op shop hauls is to make up packs in my Etsy to at least make back what I spent and if I make anything more it's a bonus um, but yeah I'll pull apart these books all of them here and it, that's totally how random it's gonna be <laughs> and make up some packs in my Etsy um, so maybe there'll be some of that wedding dress material of the sheer stuff and the satin stuff and then pages from here pages from there and pages even from the condolences book but here is my other haul that I've gotten my music paper haul so basically I just went up to the lady and said you know how much for the lot she gave me a good price so I got the lot <laughs> oh, I love getting things in bulk and there's some really cool old ones mixed in with some newer ones but these old ones are my favorite types and it's great because I just love using music paper in journals and if it's already old I don't have to coffee dye it which is great I don't necessarily coffee dye all paper because with my non coffee dye journals I just use normal music paper just white as is um, and I like to use them to make uh, embellishments and envelopes out of the white ones in particular 
So just great variety. I mean, I haven't actually looked through it all yet. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll discover what I've got together. <laughs> I like it when you get the famous composers. I've got some Beethoven in here somewhere as well. And I had Mozart before and Bach and all these guys. And I think it's great too because you can scan those old ones because they're no longer copyright. It's in the public domain. At least that's my understanding of it. I, I looked it up online, did a bit of research. I just love the covers. Like, look at that. How cool is that? So yeah, this one's Bach, Beethoven, and oh, I, I don't know this one. <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> this one's got a lot of pages, so I like having a big stash because then you don't have to ever, ever worry about oh, hoarding. <laughs> Do I use it? Don't I use it? Because now I've got so many, I can just go ahead and use it. And I love all the different types of papers too. This one's really kind of slippery and fine. And it's great, you get yeah, that variety, even just using music paper, of different colour tones and weights and thicknesses and feels, textures of the papers. Cool cover as well. So lots of this white paper. And you get different layouts too, some are spaced wider, some are more narrow. <laughs> well, there is a lot. Don't think I have to get any more new music paper for a very, very long time. Hmm. Interesting cover. Okay. It's been covered over. Interesting. It's really weird. Wonder what was underneath there. Cool, it's got purple, purple notations. I like the different types of writing too, and just the borders, it's all different. How cool are these ones? These are almost like plastic, the texture. <laughs> Love this, well, this is my favorite type though. The old looking pages. It's great. <laughs> oh, hang on. I've got... Oh, see, like, look at that. See, that's something I would scan and make into a journal card. Or I guess you could do it full size and have it like a fold out extra writing space. Look at that one. I love that cover. Again, you can scan all the covers. That's really cool. Yeah, I love making journal cards out of the covers of the ones that look like this. And I have done that. I was going to put them up in my Etsy, but I just haven't got around to it yet. If you're interested, let me know um, and I'll do it straight away. But if I don't hear back, it will just happen eventually. <laughs> um, this is cool. Look at those borders. Look at this paper. This is really cool. Love it. That paper's awesome. That's pretty cool too. Yeah, there's quite a lot of this older stuff, which is great. Oh my gosh, it just keeps on going and going and going. Same as this. Like, none of this I have to coffee dye. It's perfect. Chai... chai. Oh, I was going to say that Tchaikovsky, is that how you spell? Oh, I don't know my composers. 
but I think yeah, my favourite, you know, out of Beethoven, Bach and Mozart and all those guys, mine, I always had mine favourite was Tchaikovsky. Um, I think because, did he do like the Nutcracker and stuff? So because of the ballets, <laughs> Sleeping Beauty, Swan Lake, was that him? I don't know. <laughs> This one's cool. Oh, that paper. It's kind of not even brown. It's like this other old looking colour. Very thick paper. Kind of cardboard even. That's really cool. Again, look at these great covers. Wow. That's so cool. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> and a bit of an... Uh, yeah, I think I would just leave that too. It's a little bit lighter, but it's not white white. It's kind of cream. So yeah, if <laughs> anyone... Maybe I'll do just a music paper pack and just, you know, pages out of a range of books so you get that variety which is something I like so maybe you like that as well because I know I could you know um, sell individual books but I personally don't like that as much as having different pages from different books um, so that you get that variety of size and texture and color tone and style um, so maybe I'll make up some music packs let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that and I will make those up for you for sure. That one's really cool. Um, and then, oh, I don't know. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, option halls, they're just so random and eclectic. So I didn't get as many books this time. So I was thinking, like, a book page pack. Um... Maybe I do like music packs and then thrown in uh, some of these pages from these two books. And yeah, and a, a, a fabric piece each of the satiny material and the sheer material. Let me know if you're interested in that type of pack or just the music pack. Um, and I will cater to that for sure. So hope you liked my haul. Let me get those dress back <laughs> let's get that back in frame isn't that beautiful all right well I'll have fun picking all this apart <laughs> and yeah let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video bye